right, Hip Hop United. This is Brianna. We're here today with the one and only Kelly. What's going on? Hey, hey, Brianna. Hey, what's going on with you? Everything is good. Yeah. I mean, life is good for me right now. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy. No complaints. Gotcha. That's the way to be. That's the way to. That's definitely the way to be. Can you see me? Okay. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. You know, let everybody know what you got going on. You know, I hear you got a new book. Tell everybody yes. a new book. I got a new book. I wrote a new book. It's called How to Be a Better Jump Off, What Every Side Piece Must Know. And uh, it's, okay. actually doing, it's actually doing very well right now. So I'm excited about it. I'm, like, I'm, I'm really wow. excited about it. Congratulations on the new book. When did you um when did it come out? Um it came out around Valentine's Day. I, I did a whole oh. thing around Valentine's Day. Um I wanted the uh jump off the side piece pieces not to be um ignored on Valentine's Day this year. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, I definitely know some people definitely had some side pieces and some jump offs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now let's get into it. Now, what inspired you to make this book? Well, you know what? It's, it, it, it's, it's a crazy story. It was like years ago. Um, I read this story about how um, the side piece wrote a um, an open letter to Gabrielle Union before hmm. her and Wayne had gotten married. And yeah. she she spilled the tea. She had receipts. I mean, she just told it all about hmm. her and Dwayne's um, relationship. Now, this and, is her, this is when Gabrielle was currently dating Dwayne. Yeah, they weren't married yet. Okay. They weren't married. And um Do you think that really counts though? <laughs> I think so because you know he was in a committed relationship. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Um, and so they had committed to each other. So okay. and and so this side piece, she 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 told it all. She was like, when I come into town, I come into town when you're off doing movies or whatever, and he puts your pictures in the drawers and wow, on the on so in she the drawer on the nice house. Oh well, well you okay. Well, you said they weren't married. They were just yeah, they weren't married. Okay, and I'm not sure if they were living together, but um, yeah, she was all up in the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so she, so she sent that letter to him. I mean, to Gabrielle and spilling the tea and everything. And I just thought it was funny how you know why you know. My thing was, what, what are you getting out of this? I mean, to me, it was obvious that she was trying to move Gabrielle Union out of the way. You know, mm -hmm. she wanted that main woman status. So she said, look, you know, this is what I'm going to do. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. You know, they worked through their issues and they ended up getting married. Right. So, so that was the inspiration behind that book. I was like, you know, there's a lot of rules, unspoken rules about these types of relationships. But nobody put any thought to put anything together to say, okay, look, this is what you do. This is what you don't do. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of, you know, put rules to the game. Okay. Well, I know you don't want to give the book away. Mm -hmm. And I haven't read the book yet, you know. Okay. But, but when I get it, I'm going to read it. Okay. Um. Now, can you kind of like at least give us... um. How can I say this without giving the book away? Like, can you kind of like, I guess, what does it teach? You know, what does it teach people who, I guess, are side pieces and jump offs? Like, are you trying to relay a message to those types of people? Yeah. I mean, because, they, I mean, so like without giving away everything that's in a book, I just kind of highlight some rules. And I think the number one, the, there's two rules that I say that is very important mm -hmm. when you're dealing with a man who may be married or a man who's in a committed relationship with mm -hmm. a woman, a serious commi uh, uh, committed mm -hmm. relationship. And that is, first of all, don't get your feelings into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get your feelings into 
um, a married man or a committed man, period. You know, it just makes for a disaster. Number two, keep your mouth shut about it. Okay. <laughs> um, and so those, you know, I'll go into like maybe five or six different rules, but you know, people always ask me, well, what rules do, would you say are the most important? And I would say, don't, don't get your feelings. <laughs> do it. Mm-hmm. Feelings in check and keep your mouth shut. So those are the two um, that I talk to uh, talk about in this book in length, um, mm-hmm. because I think those are the most important. Because what happens is when you get into these relationships with these men, and then you start having feelings for these men, mm-hmm. then that kind of that's like that's like a a, a, a a disaster way to happen. You you know you're like, well, I want this man, and he's mm-hmm. not leaving his wife. So if you know, and he she's probably putting um demands on him that he can't fulfill Mm -hmm. you know and so it's just it's it's bad and the other thing is just keep your mouth shut you know don't tell your best friends you don't tell your family you don't tell your friends you don't tell your co-workers you don't tell anybody then that's Mm -hmm. between you and Mm them um and we all saw what happens when you you know you tell somebody about your relationship Mm -hmm. you know and i referenced that in my book is when monica Lewinsky was (laughs) messing around with her (laughs) One of our presidents. Right. And then right. um and then her friend was secretly recording, you know, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, she's you know, thinking she's bonding with this older woman, and this mm-hmm. older woman was setting her up for failure. So those things can happen, and that's why I said just keep your mouth shut. And then another one of the things that I put in this book is a story about how this side piece out it her man on Facebook to his wife. He went on, on Facebook Live and she outed him and he went over there and killed her on Facebook Live. Yeah, that actually happened. A real story. A real story. He said, I'm gonna make you famous. And he made her apologize to his wife, first of all. And then after she uh, apologized to him, um, he shot her with an AR-15 four times. He killed her right And what would he, I mean, what he don't he don't think nothing was gonna happen in it happen to him yeah they ended up with him and as as a matter of fact what happened was her brother was at the house with her and heard the commotion he comes downstairs and he shoots and kills him too so and so these are the things you want to try to avoid you know that of course is an extreme case of what could happen right. but it can happen right you so, just yeah you don't play with people's emotions. So exactly. So, so would you condone this though? Listen, I don't condone or condemn it. You know, I I leave it to grown people. Mm-hmm. You know, I you know I get I get that question a lot. I you know I, I had some wives you know very angry with me saying that I can't believe that you wrote a whole book about fucking somebody shit up. <laughs> and I said it's not about that. It's not about that. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's about it. You know, my thing is, if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Okay, where no one gets hurt. You know, you're not getting feelings in, into it. Um, you're getting whatever you want to get out of it. You know, if it, you know, if there's money or gifts or business or whatever you want to get out of it, get out. You know, get that and get out. You know, you can't get your feelings into it. Right, because you know, normally most most books are how to you know heal my relationship or you know Mm -hmm. how to you know compromise and but yours is how to definitely I guess you know it's it's about you know the rules of dealing with the side piece and you know the jump offs exactly and and nothing you know it's it's crazy because nothing has been written about it nothing has been that's what I was thinking I'm like that's what that's why I said that because most books are about how to you know not to do that you know what I'm saying and and, and, and so it's like in my book I'm not condoning it I'm not condemning it you know I I don't judge anybody you know Mm -hmm. my thing really is um you gotta have some rules to this game Okay, mm-hmm. because too many people are getting hurt, too many lives are being destroyed because of these types of relationships. And mm-hmm. these types of relationships are always going to happen. They have been right. happening for hundreds of years. I mean, mm-hmm. thousands of years. It, it it's not going to stop. So mm-hmm. something has to be done, something needs to be said about it. 
so people, you know, are cool with it. Mm-hmm. Why, do you, why do you think, um, why do you think people cheat? Like, and, and I can't just say, why do men cheat? Cause women cheat too, you know, but why do you think people cheat? Um, I, I okay. So I'm, <laughs> I got two, <laughs> I got two reasons why I feel like, um, uh, people cheat and I'm going to just, I'm just going to rag on the men right now. Okay. okay. And I don't know how, um, what language I can use on your show, but <laughs> I mean, you just be you. That's why I, I was just like, I didn't want to just pinpoint it to just one, you know, okay. side. Like I, I didn't well, say men. So well, was like, hey. um, I'm going to say that the lure for men is having, um, how can I say this nicely? The lure of having new ass is the lure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, that is going to always be the lure mm-hmm. for men. Some, some men, not all men. And when it comes to women, I feel like we cheat for different reasons. Okay, um, I cheated before. But my cheating was in response to being cheated on. Mm, so you was getting you know what I mean you was getting it back exactly I was just getting some get back you know so um so women cheat for different reasons than men men cheat because you know they're chasing after new ass mm-hmm. you know um it's plain and simple they don't put their feelings into it they're not trying to get back at anybody they're just like I don't want that <laughs> and I'm gonna get it mm-hmm. and they do so that's that's just my take on it. I could be totally wrong about it, but that's just how I feel about it. That's you. I mean, it, it makes it makes perfect sense because, like I said, you know, I mean, everybody has their reasons, and and then the thing about it is, too, a lot of healthy relationships that you know that well, it it it, it seems as if it's healthy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people live aside they live in a fantasy land you know social media too it it plays a role in just fake people's uh lives like you'll see people like you know hugged up laughing like they're just having the 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 best time of their lives they're just on top of the the best life ever and behind closed doors behind closed doors all this commotion and you know this uh, faithfulness is going on and it's like a lot of people are living like double lives and but oh, yeah. um, social media is showing something different yeah. so i I think that plays a role too because you know everybody wants to you know seem that seem as if everything is all peaches and cream they had this this perfect relationship and yeah it's yeah but it's not and these men are just that they, they, you know some of these men out here just <laughs> just going through it <laughs> yeah and it's, it is so funny um and and the real funny part about it is is i wrote this book and you know i've been getting the, you know get some traction on the book mm-hmm. but i'm getting a lot of dms from committed men mm. surprisingly who well it, it's like well you wrote this book, so you know what to do. You know what not to do. So when you say committed, are they married or they they're just uh-huh. or mm-hmm. a little bit of both? I mean a little bit of both, but a lot of married men. A lot of married men. No lie. No lie. So do you think so do you think the book is 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 um the few waiting them to keep doing it? <laughs> Um, I don't know because my thing is they're gonna do it anyway. If it's in them, if it's if it's their intent and if that's what they're doing, they're gonna do it anyway. Whether I, you know whether I wrote this book or not, book or not, right? <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna do it. Like I said, this is going on for hundreds of years. Nothing has right. you know, and you know, back in the biblical time, they had concubines. So I mean part of our culture mm-hmm. but and it's I don't see it ever stopping you know you're going to always have men who want more 
and you're going to always have women who are available. I mean, that's just, if there's more of us than it is of them, you know, some women just don't care. You know, it's funny because I have, I put this in a book, you know, inside the book, I, you know, I, I um, talk about different rules, but also in the book, there's like 17 different tales of a jump off. You know, some of the tales are my own personal tales. I've been on both sides. I've been the jump off and I've been cheated on, you mm -hmm. know? So I, you know, I tell both sides of that story, but I have a friend bless her so sweetest person on the planet but have been a jump off for 25 years what that part 25 years and this man has gone through in in his relationship has gone through like seven or eight different women but he's never upgraded her you see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. he would be in a relationship for, with a woman for three or four years, break up with her, give with somebody else, but never get back, never bring her up to the next level. Always kept her in her position. And I understand that. I get that. That's just, that, I mean, if you want to be a side, but that's, you know, that's what you're signing up to do. You can't, you really can't expect men to level you up to main woman status. Do, do, does she know she's the side piece? Yeah, she knows it. And I, and I said, you're too beautiful for this. She said, I know, Kelly. I said, and, 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 here's the and part. Okay. She, she don't date nobody else. She would not date anybody. Wow. She's faithful. Okay, so that so one. She just date other people. If she's a pretty lady, I know she's beautiful. not going to have a problem finding Not at all. She is faithful to that man. He, he, he is, must be rich. Is he rich? That's the thing. Yeah, he's not rich, so it must be it must be something in the bedroom that got got her going on. I don't know. I, I can't imagine. <laughs> I ain't never ran up on none like that. <laughs> wow. That now that one is I, different. That um, one. Is, that one. That one is. That is different. And so I talk about that in the book about but when you when you're dating men who um enjoy multiple relationships you really can't have any expectations i talk about that too you really can't have any expectations because if you're playing your position perfectly that's how he's going to allow you to continue to play you know you're not playing she she has always played the role of a side piece you mm -hmm. can't expect to be upgraded you know what i mean mm -hmm. one day Right, because, or maybe she well, just got that that genuine hope in the back of her mind that, and I, maybe yeah, one, one day, day, yeah, maybe one day he's just gonna put all these other women to the side, and I'm gonna finally be upgraded to the main woman. Okay, it's been 25 years. At what point do you do you not realize this is not gonna happen? You you once he broke up with his girlfriend and then upgrade you at that point when there was an opening <laughs> obviously right but he did you know he did had no intention and still have not upgraded her i've talked to her i was like you're too you're, you're too pretty you're just wasting your life i'm like why but maybe you she know wants that i don't yeah and she's in, i mean obviously she's in she's in love with him She's, she's in love with them and she can't let him go at this point. It's been 25 years um, and she may feel like she's invested so much. She, she just can't, but enough is enough for me. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got that bread. I don't know. Right. I'm here to say that. I can under, you know, if he was whining and dining her and just, you know, paying her bills and stuff and she don't have nothing to worry about, you know, <clears throat> I can understand why she don't want to let this man go, but if he's not doing any of that, then what's, what's the, the point? My, that's what I said too. But you know, I let grown people be grown. <clears throat> you know, that's that's on you, baby. You know, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. But you deserve more. Absolutely, absolutely. So, do you um, so do you think this book has, you know, opened you up to, you know, perhaps you know, offering therapy to, um, you know, couples, like, um, you know, giving advice? 
Um, therapy? Mm -mm. No. No. Not at all. Or anything. Okay. Okay. I mean, because like I said, grown people are going to do what grown people do. Mm -hmm. And these type of relationships are, um, are going to happen. I mean, and these types of relationships are not meant to last, you know, mm -hmm. um, and it's a false expectation for you to even think that it is going to last. And that's why I was talking a book, get what you're going to get, mm -hmm. get out and don't just let, allow him to give you good sex. I mean, I mean, what's the point of that? Right, right. What do you want the men and the women to take from this book? I want them to take away that there are um, rules to be adhered to when you have these relationships because the last thing you want to do is destroy someone's family. I mean, you got marriages destroyed. The kids are destroyed sometimes. Your um, um, employer you know, you can lose your job because side pieces go on the job acting crazy. Um, and, and and it's just not worth it. So just to adhere to the, the rules of the game, you know, it seems like, you know, back, you know, I, I can remember my father cheating on my mother, but um, this is, of course, before social media, but um, mm -hmm. no one ever came to my, our, our house, you know? Right. They knew rules you know right. I, i'm gonna see when i see you um to stay away from my family um but now it's like out here like okay i'm on social media i'm you know putting dms and yeah dm your wife or whatever songs. yes and so now you're losing your family you you know you're having to start all back over because your wife and took you for your money your kids and now you land up on an air mattress looking stupid so it's not worth it on either side because you know you got men who are losing it all and then you have women who um you know when they expose these types of relationships then you get labeled and the men are getting labeled. It's like, well, you knew he was married. Why would you, you know, be messing around with this man? And you knew he was married. But I, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to defend the, the, the side piece and say it's not her responsibility to keep your man in check. You know what I mean? He knows he's married. Okay, he right. knows that. And then a lot of times, uh, when women are in these relationships, men aren't honest. They'll say, No, I'm not married. And then you find out later that he's married or he's lying and saying, you know, it's not the same anymore. And I'm, you know, I'm leaving and da 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 he's lying. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a lot of times these women get caught up because, you know, these men are lying. And I put in the book, there's certain things, certain trigger words to let you know this is some bullshit. You know, um, some women will believe men. Well, I'm, I'm going to leave, you know, when they say I'm, I'm going to leave her. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna leave. We sleep in different rooms. I've heard that. I've heard that here since I've been in Atlanta. This guy, he was in, in, in a relationship with uh with someone, and he tried to hear me. I was like, no, no. But he tried his best. I mean, he he. he I mean, every true word that I I put in his book, and I said, dude, you know, I wrote a whole book about this. Did you? No, <laughs> you can't. He was like, well, we sleep in different rooms and this and that. And so when you hear these these words that I put in these books, then you know it's some bullshit. You know, the only thing that that you need to hear, want to hear is that I'm single. But even if the man is single, you can still be a side chick because he may have two, three other ones. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, so... I always said um, not everybody is, you know equipped i'm gonna say equipped to be married okay. too because it's like i agree i don't know you know just everybody's just not made to be married to me for some reason you know um and it seems like those are the one the main ones that you have these relationships where the the infidelity lies and you know everybody has a side piece and it's always the married people you know, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of the um, the court shows. Okay. 
and that's where I, you know it's like I'm watching these shows and it's like why did they get married <laughs> like if you you know I think if you just remain single and not get married you do what you want to do that part <laughs> but I think a lot of times I know for for men that they want that cake and eat it too it's not saying that they don't love their wives they don't they don't love them and, and or anything like that they just they just want it all yeah and, yeah um and, 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 and it's easy for me to say yeah well you shouldn't have got married well he didn't want to lose her to anybody else that's the thing that i they don't want to lose their wives that's why they screw them up but they still gonna do what they want to do mm-hmm. which is which is unfair which yeah. is unfair to the wives and it's a, a complete waste of time, you know. And then if you got children involved, now you got the children. Now, you know, now she's faced with, do I leave or do I stay? Because he's not, I mean, I'm not going to say men don't change. Some men do change. Um, but some yeah. continue to yeah. fall short. Wow, wow. So, so again, you know, let everybody know the name of this book, you know, <laughs> how they can get, you know, where you okay. can get online. So again, okay, so again, the book, um, it's called How to Be a Better Jump Off, What Every Side Piece Must Know. And it was written by me, Kelly Coins. You can get this book on Amazon and it's also on Kindle. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, and I have a Kindle account and I have an, uh, I think they're a part of Amazon now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you got a Prime, you got a Prime account. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I got you as funny. I got you as funny. Okay, okay. All right. All right. I'm excited. Well, once again, congratulations, you know, um, you. leave your social media, leave, leave your social media as well. Okay, so IG, I am the coin collector um on ig and on facebook i am kelly coins so you can find me there on both on both um, i'm not yet on tiktok <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm working my way through there yeah. you know i just i just got um i had tiktok but i just started you- using it i just started using tiktok like about a couple months ago because i just can't keep up with all that stuff <laughs> No, it is a lot. Yeah, you know, I, right? Because I try to keep up. You know, I'm doing my own um, right. posting right now. You know, and it's like hard to okay. Should I post this? Should, and TikTok is more. I've noticed too. It's more fun. Like um, yeah. people are just mostly having fun and doing different dance moves and, and challenges and stuff yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been noticing about TikTok. So I said I was gonna get into it more because I do like I do like the um the edit feature they have when you upload a video. Oh okay. Um, it'll it'll create a movie clip for you and it'll put it'll automatically include the, the like the little quick transitions too. Oh wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get on top of and that. They only let you, yeah, and they let you use a minute's worth of um, like music. Like, if you want to put, you know, Instagram will mm-hmm. shut your uh post down if you use copywritten audio, right? But, t- but if you upload it through TikTok, they'll let you use a minute. Oh, okay, great. Right. Yeah, put it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I'm gonna have to switch over but yes i just want to thank you again for having me <laughs> no problem no problem can't wait to read this book this yes book. yes what yes, you got yes. going on in this book <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's 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 interesting to say the least you know like i said i had a lot of people not a lot but i have some wives to come at me um about the book but most of them came um for me but hadn't read hadn't read the book i was like you can't really come for me if you haven't read the book you don't know what the book is about you're just going off what the the title of the book which you know can be disturbing if you're a wife so i get it um and you probably don't want to hear about (laughs) how 
how to keep her, um, you know, how to keep his eyes. Right, right. But, um, and, and like I said, it's not for, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condemning, I, I don't care either way. You know what I mean? It's grown people. Um, but I will say again that if if you're going to be in these type of relationships, I just, I just say do it the right way so no one can hurt. Got it. There it is. Well, once again, you laid it out, you know, I'm, you know, congratulations on just, you know, your current sales and, you know, thank you. what's coming for you in the near future. And, you know, I see yes. more books in the works, I, you know. I got some, I got more some books stuff going. <laughs> okay. Yes, I okay. got some stuff going. Yep. So thank you again, Brianna. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, thank you for pleasure. tuning in with Hip Hop United. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.